Hello everyone, hope you've had a great day out there. Our weather forecast is brought to you by Geppetto, is located in Village West. Don't forget to see this forecast at our website, wskitv.com, all year round. And for Thursday, we're looking at a mostly cloudy day with flurries in the morning after a little bit of snow overnight. Summit temperatures 23 to 27, at the base 31 to 35. A little bit of a breeze out of the west, hardly noticeable. And then we'll break out the sunshine for Friday, lasting right through the weekend. Partly sunny skies, 25 to 29 even at the summit, pretty mild. At the base, 31 to 35. Variable winds becoming southeasterly at the summit, hardly noticeable at only 8 to 14 miles per hour. So kick weekend off in great style and keeping it going through Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, all partly sunny. 36 at the base on Saturday, 29 at the summit, 33 at the base of the mountain on Sunday, and 22 up high. And even on Monday, 25 at the bottom of the mountain and 16 at the top. So not a bad forecast for the Extended forecast, Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions. We have 85 trails and trail sections open for skiing and riding. 60 will be groomed overnight. We do have some powder out there, and there's also loose granular, a little bit of this and that. Timberline, bridal chain, spur line, tote, kings, hay burner, white nitro, woo, wedge, gauge, sluice, olive go-go line, lower spillway, as well as the trails down on the flats, all to be groomed up overnight. And on the east side, they'll also do Widowmaker, Ram Down, Two Hall, Whiffle Tree, and Rollway, as usual. And on the west side, Scoot and Windrow, with work on the terrain parks. Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway are our base area lifts, and they start up at 8.30 on Thursday. It looks to be an awesome day out there, whether you're just learning how to ski or ride, or you've been doing it for a long time, get up good and early, take advantage of the great temperatures and hardly any wind. Double Runner East also starts up at 8.30, gets a little bit further up the hill for some more intermediate terrain. And if you want to head way up, that's when you hit the Super Quad and Skyline. Both of those also start up at 8.30 on Thursday morning for you. And at 9 o'clock, that's when we'll add the east side, Wiffle Tree and King Pine. Wiffle Tree, the lower one, beginner and intermediate terrain, whereas King Pine has some of our more challenging terrain here at Sugarloaf. So head upper east at 9 o'clock if you're looking for that. Timberline is our topmost lift, and that has all kinds of terrain that you can access from it. So even if you're not an expert skier, head right to the summit of Sugarloaf, and you can follow Timberline and Tote Road all the way down. The Outdoor Center has 70 kilometers open for cross-country skiing. Conditions are fantastic. Also available is snowshoeing and the ice skating, although you will have to Keep in touch over the next few days as we have tenuous temperatures as to whether or not the rink will be able to stay open. But for the time being, head to the Outdoor Center for some great cross-country skiing at the very least. There's a blood drive happening at the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel on this Friday. Please get in touch with Sarah at the Sugarloaf Admin Building if you would like to sign up. There is an urgent need. That's where we're putting a call out now. If you can help, be at the mountain at the hotel on Friday. Rock and Roll in the Yurt this weekend featuring the Elmore Twist Band. That is a benefit for the Maine Adaptive Outdoor Education Center right here in Carabasset on the Outdoor Center Road. Going to be a ton of fun to be had. That kicks off at 6.30 on this Saturday night. And if you haven't looked at our quad cam lately, you should certainly check it out, especially with the clouds coming and going as they have as the system has passed through in the past 24 hours. Our time-lapse camera is absolutely amazing. Check it out, wskitv.com slash quad cam. Tons of information at our website, so no matter where you are, you can know what's happening anywhere throughout the main high peaks, wskitv.com.